Yamaki right there. Endurance buff. Devil. Start going after the priest with your arrows. Go after the priest with your arrows. Aloth, uh, fire. That's a tree person, I think. Maybe it won't like fire. I might have got lucky because I might only have two things down here. Right here, you're stunned. Alright, I'm turning AI back on. You guys are not doing anything I want you to do. <laughs> Hey, Maddox. Ignore the wind blight. Get the priest. Durance, keep your health up a bit. Actually, you know what? Wait a minute. Beyond here, you want to drop stuff? Have that. Liquid don't die on me. Yeah, what's killing me here is the lightning. I'm wondering if it's the dragon pulling that off. Try cleansing flame. That worked really good before. How bad? <laughs> Didn't seem to do much this time. Shoot liquid. Uh, Durance heal. <laughs> yeah, Eloth, get back. You're not meleeing here. This is too risky. Uh, White March is going pretty good. I'm pretty much wrapping up everything there is to wrap up before I go into Durgan's Battery. And this is the last of the bounties I have available, unless another one's going to pop up after I do these ones. I don't know. And this looks like this is probably the toughest one I've done so far. Sagani, why are you meleeing? What on earth are you doing? Ready, watcher. Alright, just get that thing instead. Come on, kill that. I'm pretty sure that's the lightning. There we go. Alright. That's beautiful. So now I just took away their little lightning caster. So if I go back up there, I could probably kill the rest of them. Still gonna lure them down. Huh? But that set me up nicely. All right, let's try this again. A deer. Mm. Uh huh. You're not a deer. Where's a deer? A deer's hey. here. Deer, go right there. Mm. There. Hi. Move down. What? Move down. Mm. Itamok, just stay there. Sure. Well, no, move up a bit. Actually. I'm gonna try something else. Uh huh. You stand back to cast yeah. the shoot Ready, arrows. It. Save it. All right. Stealth. I'll take a look. Oops! Stop! 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 Got an arrow for this. back see if he follows did not follow go a little bit slower this time I'm on the trail after an eat come on I got a little something for you just shake off that sunland Sagani you're fine Here, if you want to calm down, you're the 
second biggest problem here. Your buddy's just left. So we'll pick you off by yourself. Go invisible. I'm really starting to like Devil. Hmm. I'm really starting to like that sneak attack. I'll take your head if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah that's how I killed uh, Umar before. Mm -hmm. I was trying to see if I could do it without it that first time though. Because I killed the two bounties after Umer head on, but that one, because of that lightning, using the bridge and picking them off one by one was probably a better option. I think I can probably kill the stragglers. I'm just going to take the rest of these guys head on. Oh, you have another A dragon. This might have been a bad idea. Now, let's just try to make Miz speed on the first thing we see. Maybe we can kill the barbarian real quick. Use the Punch. that. Buff everybody's strength. Okay, Barbarian's dead. You don't like Pierce from looks of it. Everybody go after him. Aloth, what do you got going on here? Fireball, maybe? Oh shoot, Liquid, get back. What? Okay, now kill Alright, good, they're down. Ah, na, 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 na. Alright, easy pickings. Mr. Crossbow up here ain't gonna last too long. Beautiful. Money, money. Take, take, take. And a bunch of stuff I'll look through. But I got more time. I can actually open this now since I have somebody with high mechanics. Right here. But you better look for traps. Good thing I'm if you say so. Can't disarm it. No, not yet. Huh? We'll make a deer do it. Uh-huh. Alright then. That's not nice. I'm sure this won't hurt. Chaotic orb. Huh, I wonder what that would have done. Hey. You're okay. If you say so. Long as it didn't hit you, it's okay. Got it done. A crossbow, two diamonds, and camping supplies. And I don't need the camping supplies. All right, let's get out of here. Turn this in. Maybe it'll be nighttime. Ooh, that does sound nice, actually. I 
hour six. I bet I just missed nighttime. All right, I brought you Firedorn's head. That's a relief. Fella like that was bound to cause trouble even if he was crazy. Here, this is for you. He hands you a rattling bag of bonies. 4,000 copper. I'm here for the bounty on the old Dunreard hunting lodge. I think Galloway and you, of course. I'll be honest, I'd worried these fools were going to end up here and burn down the rest of the village. He gives you a purse this fool almost to the point of bursting. Another 4,000. Afraid I don't have any more bounties. Alright, we're done with that. Hmm. Now the only thing to do is the Weaver Song at it. What's this? Colorful clothing of the Spirentin Weaver Bonacetta is known throughout the Eastern Reach. Over a year ago, she was on a trip to Defiance Bay when her ship sank in a violent storm just off the Pearl Coast. Miraculously, many of the passengers survived. Bonacetta's body was never found and she was presumed to have died. However, a Valian merchant in Defiance Bay recently recognized some of Bonacetta's unmistakable work in an otherwise unremarkable shipment of textiles. He spoke with others and learned that several shipments of different merchants bore the same telltale patterns. Now, bleh, now many merchants believe that Bonacetta is being held captive somewhere and is trying to communicate through her work. Whatever the message is, none have been able to decipher it, nor where it's coming from. One day. Alright, Kana. Saw you. Save this. Okay, now. I need to make it nighttime. Yeah, that does sound really good. As long as it's not hitting me. Right. Though, in that case, him by himself up there, that wouldn't have been too big of a deal. Back to warm your hands, eh? What can I do for you? Top quality bear pelts. enough yet. Now. There's no way I'm t I take it to just like rest for like a couple hours is there to make night roll around. Just rest. Back to warm your hands, eh? What can I do for you? Top quality bear pelt. All right, maybe it's not enough now. Alright, there we go. Okay, fishery is down here. Don't mind me, Mr. Villager. I'm not doing anything I shouldn't be doing. Search fishery at night. Galvino believes that Grind keeps a stash of ripple sponge somewhere in the fishery. Want me to search the building at night when all the fishermen have gone home. Barrel. 
artist's bracelet. This bracelet is comprised of many small interwoven beads and is held together by a fine silver clasp. Together the beads form a stylized images, image of mountain peaks. You reach into the barrel and find a bracelet. You think aura of essence clings to it, fresh with memory. You feel yourself drawn into it. In a memory, you stride into the fishery. The floors are swept clean, but the wood is still splo splotched with snow mountain fish guts. Man hunkers in the corner, his head nodding forward as if in sleep. He looks up drowsily as you approach. It's grinned. His face is youthful but sallow, and his hair hangs in stringy locks. You feel a pang of anger and pity at your brother's debauchery. Ar Arda. Yes, Arda. His voice is little more than a croak. It's past midnight. Your throat feels tight. Grin wipes at his nose and examines the mingled blood and powder on the back of his hand. He shrugs. Your fingers clench around coarse, thick fabric, your father's best wool cloak tucked under your arm. Go! To raid Ceres, or Defiance Bay, or fucking Air Glonfoth. I don't care! You hurl it at the ingrate huddled on the floor. He picks up the cloak and looks at it with the same sort of dull wonder. He wipes his nose on the lining. Ew. A sudden rush of flurry, flurry. <laughs> a sudden rush of flurry, fury leaves your limbs weak and raw. I'll tell them. Mayor Cena healed. The neighbors, everyone. You force the words through your teeth. But what? He mumbles, churning his words from a morass of snot and saliva. The stealing. You think I haven't noticed the money missing from the fishery coffers, or heard Tana talk about losing a golden duke? I gotta give this guy credit, he hasn't pissed himself so far like a bunch of other people have in this session. Uh, you whisper, afraid even now that someone will overhear you and the words scorch your throat. You can't be found when there's work to do, but every time those merchant wagons roll into town, you've got coin enough for a few bags of ripple sponge. He might be drooling, but at least his bladder's under control. No, it's not. He rubs his red-rimmed eyes. Your own, grow, your own grow warm and blurry. Stalwart tolerates your sponge habit, but they won't abide your thieving. You touch your bracelet, a gift from Mother, plucking at the beads. You won't. He rises, steadier on his feet than you would have thought. I will. You stride toward him. This seems like a bad idea on your part, lady. I wouldn't have shamed mother and father while they were while they was living, but I won't let this keep up. Your anger swallows the last of your pity, anger at him for putting you in this position, for doubting your resolve. Shall she has a good resolve? I wish I did. For failing to see, you're close enough to smell his stale, sour breath when he pushes you. You fall, watching his widening eyes and the ceiling spinning into your vision. Isn't this just like him? Grinned with his full tantrums, never thinking of anybody but himself, and now you're going to be nursing a headache for a week just goes to show you can't help some people, but you remember him too, your baby brother running through the snow, slipping, falling on ice, and you're slipping, falling, and there's a table behind you, but it shouldn't. Whew. The memory ends abruptly, jolting you back into the present with your heart hammering and your palms sweating. I was surprised she was able, like, able to think all of that in between being pushed and hitting the table. It's like a comic book character where like they have a thought while they're in the middle of making a jump or something and the thoughts like three pages long and eight paragraphs. The fishery door creaks open and in walks Grin staring at you in a bracelet in surprise and outrage. His face drains of color. You take shelter in our village and then ransack it like a common thief? You'd better explain yourself. His voice shakes as do his wide squared shoulders. You're the one with explaining the doom. What's that supposed to mean? You killed your sister, Arda, right here in this room. He opens his mouth to reply, but the words catch in his throat. The guard next to him stares at the bracelet, recognition turning to horror. Worth coming back for this alone. It was an accident. I was a failure and a wretch then. But I, I never would have killed anyone. Least of all my own kin. Well, you did. <laughs> it's an accident or no, you still killed her. He turns his gaze down, offering his apology to his own clenched fists. What do you mean? I gave her body to the lake, but I kept her bracelet. 
to remember the cost of my own weakness. He loosens his hands and stares at the emptiness in his leathery palms. I ain't asking for forgiveness. I know I don't deserve any. My penance is my work on behalf of the village. And they need it truly. That seems like you're getting off easy. Yeah, I've heard that one before. See, Sagani agrees. You've seen the shape this place is in. Have mercy on Stalward, if not on me. Let me do the work Arda would have done. That's my debt to Stalward, and the only fitting way to honor my sister. He looks up at you, his eyes bright and clear. Look at yourself. Keeping this secret is taking its toll on you. Do you really want to feel this way? I kept thinking I could get by this way. But I guess you're right. It's time they knew the truth about me. He turns to leave, looking back at the fishery one last time. Well, at least he, um, is going to go turn himself in. So he faces justice a bit. My, bar my barbarian is all about justice. Maybe they can always make him do penance, as he said, by uh, working a fishery. But it's up to them. Plus, I've done my good deed for today. Actually, probably my eighth good deed of the day since I've turned this game on. Alright, I believe that's it. I believe we're ready for Durgan's battery. And I'm healed up. Because I did all that resting before I went there. Still got the helmet. We need to stop by and see Galvino. Yeah, it looks like that's it. Alright. Let's check it out. We're gonna... Let's see, it's about 10.30. Yeah, we'll go see Galvino. We'll check out a little bit of Durgan's battery. I'm not gonna play for as long as I did the last couple days. Because I do have some stuff to do today, but... We'll go for a little bit longer. So I really want to check the inside of this place out. Alright, let's see Galvino real quick. Oh, I gotta oh I gotta level up like almost everybody too. I should do that. Another survival. Talents. I'm going to give you two-handed styles since you're using that great sword a lot now. Let's give you a 
10% or plus 10 defense against blinded, stuck, prone, hobbled days. Let's do that. Interdiction. Condemns the priest's foes, dazing any enemies. They're unsure to want I never really know what the heck I should give you. Inspiring Radiance, Accuracy Bonus, plus spells. I might be respecting you over the weekend. Off stream when I get a chance. I like you, but I feel like I can do more with you. You don't, you don't need anything defensive. I'm going to give you weapon focus ruffian for the moment. You might be getting switched around. Devil, my new favorite. Talents, Acolytes, Radiance, uh, this is all other people's character stuff. Offensive. Does one-handed style mean you just have a weapon and no shield or does one handed style mean sword and shield or sword and shield something different entirely Hmm. How's about, because you're another one I'm probably going to redo at some point. For the moment, I'm going to give you interrupting blows. There's a reason for that, because you're going to be my wizard killer. Scotty, I'll just keep boosting your mechanics for when I'm not using Devil. Uh, small amounts of sneak damage against enemies that qualify. That might be what I go with. Yeah. Try that. Yeah, when I'm off stream over the weekend or the next couple days when I'm not here... Uh. I'm going to stop and re-outfit some of these characters I've been getting and look into maybe respecking a couple. There's a few I want to go back and look at now that I know the game a little bit more. Kana is one of them. I was not using Kana, I feel, to the best of his abilities. I want to kind of go back and re-examine him a bit. I didn't quite get Chanters at the time. And one thing I like doing in games like this is trying to build characters into really strong characters. Eh, where are you at, Gavino? You know, you're in here, I think. All right, you should be happy. I don't like you, but you should be happy. The devil has not scorched you yet, eh? Perfetto. I got news about Grind. Yes? Does the sniveling cur hide in his home? Or has he been exiled to a place even more frigid and foul? 
I learned he murdered his sister. Diverus! The man is even more of a wretch than I thought! His face glows with a calm delight. What of him now? Surely the villagers string him up with his own fishing line. <laughs> He's leaving town with his tail tucked between his legs. Perfetto! Oh, I only wish I could have seen it. His broad smile exposes rows of yellowing teeth. I will open a good wine tonight. As for you, take this. Oh, two potions. Don't be too generous. Oh, here they are. I thought they were blue. All right, we'll set them there. So another thing I'm going to be doing at some point is clearing up my inventory. We were song completed. <clears throat> Pardon. Kind of found surprising resistance to inquiries regarding the, the blah, blah, whereabouts of Bonacetta. Whoever had taken her wanted to keep her location a secret. At the behest of the Duchess of Sparento, a team of Valian cryptographers attempted to decipher the fragments of Bonacetta's weaving messages. In turn, they, in, in turn, they communicated those leads to Kana. After several brutal fights against well-trained mercenaries, Kana died. Actually, he didn't. Connor reached Bonacetta's prison, a weaving house near Girara. The Valian textile company that had abducted her was immediately cast out of all the Valian republics, great and small. And thanks for saving her, Bonacetta wove an enchanted cloak for Connor's journey back to Cade Nua. And that is a cloak of comfort, plus five all defenses, plus three damage reduction, plus 30 max endurance. Adir, what do you have equipped? Because, man, that looks like something that was made for you. Plus five deflection. <laughs> uh, I would go back. I, I'm going to go back to Cade Nua when I do the off-stream stuff I'm going to do. I'll pick all the stuff up then. But we're going to go check out uh, Durgus Battery here. For a bit. while we're in the area. God, that cape is a thing of beauty. Nothing's going to be able to hurt him at the rate I'm going. All right, let's see. Durgan's battery. Oh, man, I'd give you a taste of that fire you're pining for if we wasn't in such pleasant company. The fire's where I come from. Reduce metal to shapeless liquid. It's where your kind belongs, along with all the other abominations of animancy. If this was Baldur's Gate, they'd start throwing swords at each other. All right, let's see. Arcane Reflection. Bonuses to Deflection, Accuracy, Might, Constitution, and Dexterity, but becomes unable to cast spells or switch grimoires for the duration. Leashes of all tile hex upon enemies in the area of effect, causing them to become either dazed, sickened, or paralyzed, depending on its own mysterious whims. Creates a field of arcane energy around the caster, reflecting hostile target of spells. I'll go with the martial power thing, because that feels like I might be able to do something with that, maybe. The more I'm looking at it. Wait, no. Offensive. Increases damage done by implements, but does a small amount of raw damage to the wielder. Yeah, no, 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 no. It ain't happening. I'm trying to 
trying to think what your fourth level is. Wait a minute. What level is Fireball? Because I abuse the hell out of Fireball. Yes. It's level three, level four. Yeah. Let's do that. All right, now, Durgus Battery, I promise. Okay, wait a minute. Apparently, we've discovered something. I see. Okay, this is another thing I like about Devil. Yes. Nina Goss Black Pages Grimoire. Ooh. Alright. Yeah, we'll check that out in a minute. Let's get everybody over to the battery, maybe. It's got a lot of high level spells in it. Yeah, I keep thinking, like, I've never been this far, and then something happens where I have been that far. But I, this, at this point I'm at right now, the only thing I think that I have not done yet on this playthrough that I did on my other playthrough was probably another um, level or two of the Endless Paths. That was it. This is all new to me. I've never been in Durgus Battery. I know that for sure. Oh, I gotta clean your inventory up here, buddy. This all needs to go into stash. I have so much money, it's not even funny. I'm just gonna learn everything. Infuse of Vital Essence. Infuses a caster with vitality, giving them a temporary increase in maximum endurance and health. I've never seen that one before. I was in there earlier. Tenwin, it's got the um, bow on top of it. I stopped by in there before I left the first time. Because it had that bow for... Uh, I gave it to Sagani. It's like it was made for. Uh, extra vulnerabilities, foe AOE, minus five damage reduction. That looks nice. Take that. Beneficial effects suspended for 21 seconds. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I saw that and I was like, okay. And she hadn't gotten a new weapon for a long time either. It's kind of like that cape I found that I got from that last K Nua mission that I cannot wait to put on a deer. Summon Aloth duplicate. Creates a ghostly double of the caster, causing shock damage to enemies hit by it. I've heard good things about this spell. Ninagoth Shadow Flame. Area of effect 39 through 50 freeze damage. A successful paralyze for 8.4 seconds. A curious variant of the ever popular fireball causes freeze damage and paralyzes anybody caught in the effect. Yeah, I'll take that too. What else we got here? Dimensional shift. Foe beam stunned. I'll learn it. Death ray. Foe target 7 to 13 raw damage applies the same effect as foe target. Only affects enemies. I like spells that only affect enemies. 
AI tends to run some of my characters right in the middle of my spells. Bitter Mooring, Target. I've seen that one before. Call to Slumber. Okay, I remember that one. Freezing Pillar, I remember that one. Arcane Reflection, that's the one I passed up earlier. Curious what these two spells are. Nina, Nina Goss Killing Bolt, 84 raw damage. Inflicts a heavy amount of raw damage to the target. Any non spirit felled by the attack will summon a specter under the caster's control. Hello. I'll take you. And Chaotic Orb. Foe target, and it jumps to five foe targets. Yeah. There's some nice, nice stuff in there. I probably can't fill anything else up in your... Can I put anything on your... Oh, I can. Level four. I've not really used that spell at all. I'm gonna give myself Shadow Flame for that. We'll go with that for the moment. That was a nice find. Again, Devil earning yeah. her keep here. Sagani would have walked right past that without me even noticing it. Though the wind and the ice have pried long, jagged cracks in the walls, the doors feel as solid and as cold as a glacier. Gilded panels are arranged in columns along the doors. The most depict scenes from daily life, doors chiseling at tunnel walls. Hauling mine carts or feasting at long tables, one pane at eye level catches your attention. It's a relief showing a crenellated wall and above it an indentation in the shape of an anvil. Oh crap, is there an order to do this in? That ain't good. I don't know if I put the tile in first or not. Ah, see what happens. Animal tile fits perfectly in the impression. You feel a warm thrum in your fingertips as you snap it into place. Crap, I didn't know I needed to actually write this down. Uh... Buzz of Essence phase and a relief reverts to its original state. Okay, so that's not it. Okay, here we go. Instantly you hear the melodic chime of metal on metal and a low chorus of a work song. Oh man, shit. <laughs> uh, strike the wall relief. Okay, I, I can get this, I can get this. Okay. Hammers of Durgan. Strike the anvil. As you do, a single ringing tone whistles through the air. Your hand buzzes and vibrates like struck metal. When you look back at the relief, the panels on either side of the wall and anvil have come alive. Ogres and warriors of all races gather for battle, their shapes and silhouettes formed by flaring, whirled heat patterns. Tiny figures move and dance, animated by flicker and blaze of an unseen fire. Man, this is a very elaborate door. Like, imagine you just wanted to, like, get in out of the cold or something. Um, okay. So, hammers of Durgan hit the anvil. Walls of the battery safeguard... Okay. You hear the heavy thud of some kind of mechanism loosening behind the plaque. Strike the warriors. Ah, shit. Alright. I got this, I got this. 
Hammers of Durgan, strike the anvil. Walls of the battery. Push the wall relief. It slides easily with the slightest pressure from your fingers. You guide it up and over the anvil relief where it clicks into place. Beneath it is a deep cavity. It's shaped like a dragon's gaping jaws. Okay, I've been as faithful travail by the forge and the fires of bright Newar. Warm air gusts from your open mouth, tingling your cold, numb face. Stick your finger into the cavity. <laughs> huh. Examine the mouth more closely. The heat building from the mouth prevents you from getting too close, but the room of the cavity and the tiny teeth surrounding it are blackened with soot. You accidentally inhale some of the vapor. It's odorless, but at least you lightheaded. Good job, liquid. You also notice that the dragon's tongue is a fire striker. It's hinged and attached to a chunk of flint. Examine the mouth more closely. Heat billowing from... Okay. Well, I'm probably going to blow everything up here, but... uh, Use the torch to light a fire. Fire catches the warm vapor with a billowing whoosh. Dragon's eyes are alight and flames lick at the edges of his mouth. A few seconds later, the panel is sliding away from you as two enormous doors swung, swing open into a grand hall. Alright. All right, time to check out Durgan's Tower for a battery for a bit. I'm probably going to call this like Durgan's Tower because I'm going to keep thinking I'm in Durlag's Tower or something. New quest, White Forge. Descend below the White, the Great Hall. Garad's Chorus. Okay, the helmet must be in here. It feels even colder in here. Something isn't right. Well, that thing looks neat. The statue of Abiden is modeled and tarnished, but each bolt and rivet appears crafted with meticulous detail. After what I had to do to get the door open, yeah, that better have been an epic opening. <laughs> Ain't that special? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We earned this. Durgan's steel has lined our halls in gold. Your vanity dishonors Abidon and cheapens us all. These weapons are ours. Or have you two forgotten how to hold a sword? Is this what it feels like to be a watcher? I think I'd be going crazy too. Sis all about. Cog wheels and an emerald. Awfully chatty in here. Alright, let's check over here. It looks like stairs that might have fallen. Devil, I better right have here. you searching because yeah. I have this feeling there's traps all over the place. Alright, steps going up. I'll check out the rest of the floor first. Yeah. I'm at least gonna check out this floor. Uh-huh. Ah, uh, something's walking around. What are you? Get out! Out! 
Are you talking to me? Ice play. Oh, we got different battle music in here. Oh, crap. Who's coming for me? Somebody's running for me. Like, I mean, gunning for me. I'm right here. What are you? A battery shield wall. You're a vessel. I have ways of right dealing here. with vessels. That's it. I'll let your buddy come up, too, before I do... Oh, you died pretty quick. Devil go uh, missile for now. That's not very helpful. Huh? I like the battle music in here. Sure. Uh huh. Still hearing something moving around. Potion of barring death's door. Prevent death for 20 seconds. Prevents the severely wounded character's health from reaching zero when it was result in the death of the character. The character can still be knocked out through endurance loss. Daily affirmations of focus and efficiency. to that. I don't know if that's just a book or if that's like clues to a puzzle. Scroll of Hailstorm. Okay. Hmm. Right here. Letter to Zoltan. Esteemed Coin Master Zoltan, I write to you in anger and bafflement. Have I not been a faithful customer to you? Have I not been fair in my dealings? Yet after all of our business together, your people turn me away like some filthy beggar. I arrived at the battery a fortnight ago, frost in my beard and not a morsel in my belly. Barely had I unhitched the horses when your commandant, Exantru, came to see me. The priest told me I would be made welcome, but my profane business would not. In short, I would have to leave at first light, my wagon's empty. Certain that this was but a negotiating tactic, I told Xandru that I would of course see him compensated along with you. He left in a huff, and when I presented myself at the door, it was Commandant Maroon, your arms warden, who met me. She told me to leave at once, and that she wouldn't have my coin-grubbing hands tarnishing Durgan's steel. Now, I appreciate forceful bargaining as much as any man of coin, but I was cold, hungry, and put off by her vehemence. Vehemence. So I showed her the letter you sent inviting me to examine your latest stock of Durgan steel. Commandant Maroon drove a rapier through the letter and sliced it in two. She then warned me that her blade, a fine weapon indeed, would be the last thing I ever laid eyes on if I did not hide back down the mountain at once. Never have I endured such humiliation and expense only to return empty handed, home empty handed. I do not understand what has passed between you and your associates, but I urge you to take charge. I fear the other commandants will be your undoing, indeed that all of Durgan's battery. If you do not deal with them swiftly and decisively, yours, Mr. Aneto of Cesaro. Yeah, let's check down before we go up. And you guys move up a little bit closer just in case. Right here. Damn you both! My generation built this keep to honor Abidon, not to further your greed and ambition. We're Pargrunen. Our forefathers explored and conquered, but you've stuck us in this frigid hall. Paved with gold and marble! 
I won't allow us to abandon our legacy for your delusions. No, you'll peddle it away to line your pockets. How much have you made selling our steel, Zoltan? Again with your lies. You think I don't hear you turning the others against me? These walls echo and... Enough! I'll send the Forge Guardians on both of you if that's what it takes. <laughs> Excuse me. Whoops. I'll keep <clears throat> on. Yeah, this feels very Durlax Tower, which is I'm okay with that. Obviously, that's what they were going for. Hey, there was that glitch again. Purple light going on. Ready, youthful spirits. Plus three athletics. And a ring of unshackling. I think that's like the fifth one of those I have. If you say so, you've got it done. Boots of stability, plus 30 defense against prone attacks, plus 15 defense against push attacks. Possibly a deer. What do you have going on? Plus 20 defense against stuck paralyzed hobble attacks, minus 3 seconds stuck paralyzed hobble duration. Max Endurance Athletics. This is one of those things that's kind of situational. I'm going to hold on to him for now. Scroll of Missile Barrage. Aloth. Record of production. Here is a current accounting of this month's production. 20 long swords, 15 axes, 12 hammers, 7 maces, 2 flails. 7 full suits of armor for forge guardians. 3 additional suits of, ar of armor. If the commandant's remark on production rates, kindly remind them that we received 3 different work orders from them. Vassal, Master Smith of Durgan's Battery. A note in another hand is written at the bottom of the page. What does Exandru need with so many forge guardians? Keep an eye on them. M. I can't wait to run into a Forge Guardian. I'm sure they're nice. It'll make me a nice suit of armor. Hmm. I'm right here. Fine, Archibus. You think you glimpse flickers of movement in this tarnished, clouded mirror? Sure. Hey. Ooh, what's this? Different mirror? No, same thing. This is very spooky. Hello? Uh, we've got a battery shield wall. And a battery shield wall. Huh. Wait, 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 wait. Shoot. Alright, get back. I don't know why you didn't shoot an arrow there. You, like, walked up to him instead. I was Ooh, what the heck? A wraith? A shadow. We got spirits in here, too. Great. I hate spirits. Okay. Itamaki can't get to anything. For the moment, everybody attack the priest. Durance, run up here. Buff. Teleporting shadow. Shadows, I think, are easy. Oh. Not too worried about him. Itamaki might be able to kill him. That was easy. Uh, Durance, also run up and do your holy thing that you do. Back up. Use your strength boosting thing. I didn't get too far away. I, know, uh, I think Liquid got caught with it. 
Hit him off. Oh, I have my AI off now. I never turn it back on. Hmm. All right, that wasn't bad. Right. I have a feeling I should enjoy it now because there's no way this isn't going to get nastier later. I can feel it in my bones. This is going to get rough. Oh, look at here. Oh, yeah. Scroll of Hailstorm. Shimmering Cloak. Plus 10 deflection against ranged attacks. That actually might be what uh, Durance has equipped. Bill of Sale. You unroll the scroll and see an inventory of weapons and armor, swords, shields, and breastplates and helms. Our list is sold to a Lucan of Dinweird. The bill is signed by Commandant Zoltan, Coin Master of Durgis Battery. Yeah. Oh, there's a hidden switch. Oh, look at here. Ah, oh, look at here. Most of these crates and barrels are empty and several are overturned. It looks as if they were cleared out in a hurry. Even more. He's a traitor to the battery. Is he then? Scroll of revival. Revive with 75 endurance. Endurance. Take that. And let's save it because generally when there's a hidden switch. Leading into a room, there's something nasty inside of it. Hmm. Or not. Devil discovered something. Oh, there it is. You gotta see this. If you say so. Got it done. Fine breastplate. Potion of Iron Skin. Money. What the hell? Encased within a thick sheet of ice, this dwarven corpse has been remarkably preserved, though his features are obscured by the frost. Clutched in the dwarf's hands is a large cloth wrapped handle, perhaps a pack. Let's use. A hammer and chisel. You chip away steadily at the ice. Progress is slow, but in time, great chunks of ice begin to fall away, along with occasional gobbets of cloth and frozen flesh. At last, with an alarming crack, cracking sound, the satchel emerges. Contents of the satchel are largely unharmed. You find a handful of stamped coins, some papers, and a scroll, along with a heavy iron key. Further searching uncovers nothing else. Got a rolled parchment. All right. Huh. Rest in peace, buddy. Maroon's getting suspicious. I've got her sniffing after Sultan for the time being, but she'll keep an eye on me. I had the lads put the last shipment in with the coal and a cart across the tracks. I'm counting on you to make sure it gets topside. You don't mind getting your hands dirty, right, Gregor? Uh, he's real chill about it. She'll bring these walls down around us. Yeah, I'm hearing something in this room. Trap, back up. Special. Table, shields, and collapsed stones have been piled up to form an impassable barricade. Battery priest. 
I'm willing to bet that's a trap right there. All right, can you actually hit with an arrow this time? There you go. Hi. Oh, <laughs> you lasted about a second. All right, wait for him. Hey. Greater ice plates. Why couldn't it be any other kind of light? Has to be ice. longer is this floor I mean, we might have a good bit left right here okay got it done oh look at here Dead end. We got more shield walls. Oh, and that blight's coming this way. Vessels. Looks like we maybe got a few big rooms to check out here. Sure. Right here. Right you are. Good thing I'm freshly greased. Yeah, that's, that's great. Oh my. A lot of dead people in here. Yeah. Right here. Money. Okay. I'll check out this one particular skeleton. Gauntless of Pusant Melee plus 10 melee damage. Simple. Gone of Ogre Might plus two might. Plus five accuracy. Hold on to them for the moment. Should probably right be letting you search for traps here. And I hear something up ahead. How long before the Commandants come to blows? Did you see the look in Maroon's eye? Exandro had better watch his back. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, let's get you down here. Come and get it. Sure. Oh, you're an archer, aren't you fancy? Ah! 
That's it. <sighs> All right, so the actual undead enemies so far go down like cheap paper. That's good. Oh, this just loops around. All right. Back up this way then. Right here. Exceptional Saber. Hold on to that. Oh. Oh, hidden objects. Zoltan's the only one with sense. Anyone who says otherwise is a fool. That sheet sold our steel and kept the coin himself. Maroon! She won't rest until our corpses decorate the halls. Actually looks like you're decorating the floor. So you were wrong. Bronze statue of Bidden stands over incense ash and rusted metal tokens. What have we here? Gems. I have a feeling that statue moves just because of the fog behind it. There's something going on there. Hmm. Uh huh. We've got to survive, by any means necessary. Yeah. We'll have blood in these halls before long. Right here. Same as the I'm other going. one. Arms Warden Maroon. As you approach the doorway, a wave of essence ripples through the air. The ancient stones grind and groan around you, and a woman's voice echoes from the hall. Stop right there. You must be some merchant come to speak with Zoltan. There's a pause in which the woman's wrathful essence gathers like a storm cloud on the other side of the door. The entire room creaks from the pressure of her presence. I'd pick the lock, but I think she'll notice. <laughs> our illustrious coin master may let you plunder our armory, but I've got other ideas for dealing with your lot. Her voice is sharp and loud like the slamming of a door. As her words echo in the chamber, the ghosts startle and flinch, glancing about in agitation. Uh, oh. Devil, you're in a really bad spot if that's what's going to happen here. Turn and go before I show you how an arms warden deals with trespassers. I do not have enough resolve. Uh, what's going on? Wait, who are you? I'm Maroon, proud Pargrin and arms warden of Durgan's Battery. And you're answering my questions now. Stone grinds and crumbles at the sound of her voice. A group called Leaden Key is seeking something here. The ghosts stir, looking around and shivering. Their eyes widen and glow as they light on you, as if they're noticing you for the first time. Just as quickly, they gaze away and seem to forget you once more, but now they seem alert, wary. Whoever you're searching for, I haven't seen them. And none get past me. Well, aren't you special? Leave our halls. Go back to whatever land you hail from. Sudden key group is buying weapons from Sultan. He snuck them in thinking you wouldn't find out. Yeah, but that's not going to get her to let me in. So 
Let's try it. Sudden Key Group is buying weapons from Zoltan. He snuck them in, thinking you wouldn't find out. That's just like him, that two-faced weasel. So you say you'll stop this leaden key, is that it? Augusta Vera sighs across her feet. You may pass, but don't make me regret this. I'll be watching you. Ooh, that worked, okay. Talked my way out of another jam. Hmm. Sicily to another floor, maybe. Yes, it does. All right, so we got that, and we got this tower out here to check out. Yes. <laughs> One thing I have been, for the most part, through this game is a good talker. I've talked my way out of a lot of situations. So long as they don't require resolve. If they require resolve, forget it. Excuse me. I'm going to save it.